Hello, well, here's some film clips from the Bodger's Ball, and that's the meeting, the largest meeting in the UK actually, of green woodworkers. Probably about 350 or so people there this year at Wallaceby Forest near Nottingham. And we had a great time. This is the our annual gathering where we have our AGM as well, and there was lots to see and do. And this is really just a selection of clips which I took just to give you a bit of a flavour really of all the sorts of things that go on. So some people bring their equipment and you get a nice bit of demonstrating going on. So there's bowl turning, sawing, chair leg turning, basket making, pretty well you name it. And there's also a few competitions as well, which all adds to the fun. I like the um, wooden workmate here, by the way. Why well, have a, a metal one when you can make a wooden one? And you always pick up, you go around and you get, it's lovely talking to different people and finding out a bit about what they've been up to and meeting old friends. It's also fun because there's old second-hand tool sales and you get ideas. You see what people are doing and you see how the craft is developing. And I just really enjoy it, it's nice. And this year, no exception. Good second-hand tool sales, good activities going on, lovely to meet all the different people there. We have a tool sale for Tools for Self-Reliance, which is a charity that raises money and sends out tools to Africa, which is very nice. And again, you see the competition entries. I have put some separate films up, actually. So I've put up a film on the spoons and treen and another film on the chairs and the stools. So you can find those elsewhere on my channel. This year, we once again hired a large marquee, about 140 foot long. But we were lucky with the weather, we didn't really need it. I mean, it was nice to have it and we hold a lot of the events in the marquee. I like the weaving here. Have a dog, use your dog hair and weave a nice woolly jumper. Mix it with other wool like alpaca. And it's lovely, lovely colors, lovely feeling to that. Blacksmithing demonstrations. It's a great chance because you, you can talk to people, scythe, snafe making here. You can talk to people who are specialists in their own field and learn little secret sort of tips and things and exchange ideas and think of different ways of doing things. Scything's quite popular at the moment and it's very nice to see it. It's a good effective way actually of clearing grassland. And of course it's not got all the nasty noisy buzz of a strimmer. A treadle sewing machine lathe and very effective it was too nice and peaceful and quiet <laughs> into ecology here aren't we no no power tools really good trade displays as usual so if you wanted to buy yourself a nice axe you could and i just enjoy seeing people seeing what's going on and bowl turning a bit like spoon carving is continuing to be very popular we have an auction each year and people provide material for the lots and it's quite good fun just seeing what different things go for. And of course, all the usual competitions as well. Weather was kind to us. We had the addition of archery this year. So you could have a go at doing some archery. I used to do a bit of archery actually as a child and I had a go. I wasn't very good, but it was nice to have a go again. Here's some basket making and people are very good at giving their time and providing tuition, which is nice. In fact, next year I want to do leather working for people, but I had quite a few people asking me questions about leather work. And I thought, actually, let's just help out and do a bit of leather working next year, do a couple of sessions. This was an ingenious traveling shave horse done in miniature to test out a concept that someone very kindly showed me. And I was quite impressed by that. And of course we had the egg and spoon race as a new race this year. And I've put a separate film up about that as well. Anyway, hope you enjoy getting a flavour of that, and thanks for watching.